Well guys, it started. Greedy dealerships are at it again. Do not buy the fourth generation Toyota Tacoma for over MSRP. Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to another video. If you're interested in the new 2024 fourth generation Toyota Tacoma, they are starting to get allocated to dealerships and also with build VIN. So this is one of the first steps in the process. Once a dealership has a VIN, that truck is scheduled to get built or has already been built, not sure yet, but dealerships know what type of truck it's gonna be, what options the truck is gonna have, and pretty much the price of the truck. And lo and behold, dealerships are starting to mark them up. The three examples we have here, California, go freaking figure. I'm from California. I currently live in Florida though. I got out of that state, $2.60 a gallon of gas right now. Let me know what it is in your state. But these three dealerships in California are marking up prices to the point where we have an SR Tacoma for $40,000. So guys, these new Tacomas, they're already expensive, a bit more than the outgoing generation. You do have a lot more truck. However, it is still quite a big jump. We'll start with Chula Vista, Chula Vista, California. They have a TRD Sport coming in for $54,000. Now this truck is supposed to be selling at 49,000 and the advertised price that this dealership is wanting is $54,000. The next one guys, is in Thousand Oaks, California. This is a TRD Sport again, and the suggested sale price of this truck is $54,000, and this one is stretching to close to $60,000 for a Toyota Tacoma. So this truck right here should not be a $60,000 truck. It's around a $51,000 to $52,000 truck, which is still expensive. However, the dealership put another $2,500 worth of stuff on it the stickers on the back, a, a step, pinstriping probably, anything to raise that price up, they put every single port option onto this truck and then they also put an addendum on it. But the worst of them of all guys is Toyota Lancaster. They have three Tacomas and all three of them with a market adjustment. The first one, a Tacoma SR. This truck should be an affordable work truck, man, at about $35,000, but they are trying to sell it at $40,000 the next one they have is a simple SR5 for $51,000, almost $52,000. Guys, I'm getting my truck, a TRD off-road premium at a dealership that does MSRP for around the same price. And it's a totally better truck, but this truck, it should be at about a $46,000 truck, again, with a ton of options, guys. I know that these trucks are gonna have a ton of options on them to make that MSRP price get that high, but they are trying to sell an SR5 for $51,000. And then the last one that they have is a TRD off-road for $56,000. That total MSRP of that one should have been about 51. Again, probably has a lot of stuff on it because it does have the premium audio at least. It has seven packages and accessories, which is nice, but you know, you can see that they added accessories to it. This one is a long bed, so that's pretty cool. Sale pending at $56,000. So some person, already pulled the trigger on this to tell this dealership that people are willing to pay over MSRP. Now, why would you pay over MSRP? Well, you need a truck or you really, really want the truck and money is no option to you. Or you're a company that's gonna develop parts for this truck and you're gonna make millions on the back end and being the first through the door means everything for off-road companies and stuff like that. So that is where paying over MSRP with a short supply of these trucks right out of the gate to be the first through the door makes sense. However, for the common folk, if you are interested in the Tacoma, do not pay over MSRP. Guys, interest rates are so freaking high right now. Cars are so expensive still right now that there is no reason that anyone should be paying over MSRP for anything. There are Tundras that are five, six, $7,000 under MSRP right now. Dealerships are flooded with them, yet there are still dealers that are stupid asking for over MSRP. Guys, I see it in the comments all the time. It's almost like a joke now on the channel that's like, oh, well, what's the addendum gonna be? What's the dealer markup gonna be? Like, I get the jokes because it was a thing of the past, but we need to get out of that mentality because having that mentality still of saying, well, what's the dealership's gonna charge? They're gonna do it because we have the mentality. Don't pay over MSRP for these trucks. If interest rates were super low and it was super hard to get these trucks right now, then I get it. It, it forces a supply and demand issue, right? 
But if you don't need the truck right now, interest rates are super high through the roof. It does not make sense to pay that money over MSRP if you're just a normal person that just wants a truck. It doesn't make sense. So these are just examples of bad dealers. There are good dealers out there, guys. My Panama City Beach Toyota dealership, they sell stuff at MSRP. The one that I'm getting this new truck from, I'm gonna be getting it at MSRP. My buddy Ghosted TRD over on Instagram, he got his sheet that looks like this from his dealership and he is getting his truck for MSRP as well in Washington, West Coast, still found a dealership that is able to do stuff at MSRP. So the dealerships are out there. Don't let these bad eggs in California, like just these three dealers, because I know there are good dealers in California and Arizona as well. Like there are the good dealers out there. Don't let the bad dealers, okay, ruin everything for us by thinking all these trucks are gonna be over MSRP. You will be able to find them for MSRP. And keep in mind, this is gonna be a volume seller for Toyota. They're gonna to have hundreds of thousands of these trucks made, I believe every single year. So they're gonna have a lot more of these trucks. They should not be over MSRP at these type of crook dealerships for a while. They got all their money during all that stuff when the world shut down, right? Let them eat these costs. Okay guys, please do your research. I appreciate you all watching as always, and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.